Hello and welcome to our talk. The topic for today is breast cancer patient stratification using domain adaptation based lymphocyte detection in HER2 state sections. Firstly, I would like to introduce the problem and the motivation for this work. We want to quantify tumor infiltrating lymphocyte population on HER2 stained triple negative breast cancer tissue using digital pathology image analysis approaches. Once we have the TIL quantification, we will furthermore assess the prognostic value of stromal TILs as a biomarker for patient stratification into high and low surviving groups. In the absence of a functional staining for TILs like CD3 or CD8, the TILs are identified as small round cells with homogeneous texture. Traditionally, in the absence of a functional stain, this task is done on an HND stained image. Doing this task directly on an HER2 stained IHC image will allow us to quantify the HER2 related features as well as still features on the same tissue section. It will also allow us to perform spatial relationship analysis between HER2 positive tumor cells and TILS. Since HER2 stain does not happen on the TILS, it does not interfere with the TIL detection. The HER2 stain is only there on the tumor. Though this work will focus only on TILS and not on the HER2 tumor identification part. To identify TILS, a deep learning solution can be trained with cell marker annotations. You see on the right hand side, we have some cell marker annotations on an HND section. We want to use directly these annotations on HND uh, to train a model which is applicable on HER2 stained IHC images. We will demonstrate a domain adaptation based system which is able to transform the HND image into a synthetic IHC HER2 image and reuse these annotations. We would eventually train a model to detect TILS which will be applicable directly on HER2 stained IHC sections. For this work, we would use only annotations available on HND to train and validate the model. The testing of the model will be done directly on IHC images using pathologist annotations. We augment CycleGAN with a style-based generator. Here we see the HND image as an input to the generator and an HER2 stained IHC image as a style image, which is passed through the style encoder. The style encoder transforms the image into a compressed representation and which is added to the decoder part of the generator. This enables realistic transfer of style from HND to IHC. We use adaptive instance normalization like many other neural networks in the decoder part of the generator. Apart from these modifications, the cycle can architecture has been kept the same as the original paper. For this application, a unit model was trained only on synthetic IHC patches obtained from HND patches via domain adaptation. To analytically validate our approach, we performed two steps. Firstly, we compared the tail densities on consecutive IHC and HND sections from the same tissue block. The graph on the left hand side shows strong correlation of tail counts between the IHC and the HND section. This suggests that the tail detection can be robustly performed on IHC sections opposite to what was done traditionally. We also performed tests against pathologist ground truths on more than 3000 cell center annotations. We found an F1 score of the detected tails against a ground truth of 0.68 with a distance threshold of 10 pixels between the ground truth and the detection. The Spearman correlation was computed on a region of interest level, which are 38 in this case, and it was found to be very high, 0.93. That suggests on a region level, the detected tail counts versus the ground truth are robust, as well as accurate. We also checked the clinical validity of this approach on a TNBC cohort of 145 patients. We find that high stromal tail densities associate with longer overall as well as progression-free survival, which conf confirms the prognostic value of stromal tails as a biomarker. This is in line with the literature around stromal tails and cancer biology. 
these results are two-fold cross-validated and if we optimize the stromal tail cutoff that would be 752 stromal tails per millimeter square to conclude in this work we showed it is possible to detect tails directly from an IHC section robustly and we show analytically and clinically the use of stromal tails as a biomarker thank you for your attention